Okay. Okay, welcome back. Uh, my name is Mark. I would like to talk about three songs today that I feel all could reference Jesus walking on water. Okay? And uh, the first one, I, uh, I had another uh, video that I had done earlier. I talked about uh, Propyl Harem's Whiter Shade of Pale. And uh, this verse, it, it, this is a verse that doesn't, this is the full song. This verse doesn't get um, much attention, but there's a verse on this song that goes, She said, I'm home on shore leave, though in truth we were at sea. So I took her by the looking glass and forced her to agree, saying, You must be the mermaid who took Neptune for a ride. But she smiled at me so sadly that my anger straightway died. So what's being said in this in this uh, verse? What I think it it uh, alludes to is walking on water. When she said, let's just say uh, uh, this is Jesus speaking. You know, forget the she so much as just uh, go with it for a second. I'm home on shore leave, though in truth we were at sea. I think it's alluding to walking on water. And then it's further, um, uh, so I took her by the looking glass, the looking glass is a mirror, and forced her to agree, saying, you must be the mermaid who took Neptune for a ride. So again, you must be the mermaid who took Neptune for a ride, is again, speaking of walking on water, took Neptune for a ride, took, walked on water. Okay, so, so the mermaid, you must be the mermaid uh, who took Neptune for a ride, uh, is alluding to Jesus walking on water. I feel could be. Let's see. All right. Now, but what's the tone here? What's going on? You know, she said, "I'm home on shore leave, though in truth we were at sea." So I took her by the looking glass and forced her to agree, saying, "You must be the mermaid who took Neptune for a ride." What, what, what I what I'm getting here is there's two people going on, right? So, so. Jesus says, I'm home on shore leave, though in truth we were at sea. Or it's someone saying, inferring that they're Jesus, right? So it offends the second person, right? So the second person there says, uh, I took her to the looking glass and forced her to agree. So this is kind of like a, a sneering type, you must be, oh, you must be Jesus. You must be the mermaid who took Neptune for a ride. That's the tone that's happening here. But then, but she smiled at me so sadly that my anger straightway died. See how the guy's anger was built up. At first his anger was built up for someone inferring that they're Jesus, right? And so he takes her to the looking glass, takes her to the mirror. Oh, you must be, you know, that mermaid who took Neptune for a ride. You must be Jesus who walked on water. It's kind of a deri derision, derision. Uh, but then, so he's angry, and it's a derisive way of saying it. And then, but then, but she smiled at me so sadly that my anger straightway died. So, uh, Jesus smiles at the guy, and his anger straightway died. Okay? Okay, so it could be one way of looking at it is that. Now, if the next verse in this is, If music be the food of love, then laughter is its queen. And likewise, if behind is in front, then dirt and truth is clean. My mouth, by then like cardboard, seemed to slip straight through my head, so we crash dive straight away quickly and attack the ocean bed. Okay, so just like the last video, I, I said that uh, behind is in front is a reference to uh, the first will be last, right? The last will be first, right? teaching of Jesus, right? And now, uh, and likewise, if behind is in front, then dirt and truth is clean. Dirt and truth is clean, I think, is a metaphor for saying dirt is a reference to sinners, right? Dirt in truth, truth being a reference to Jesus, right? So dirt and sinners in Jesus are clean, is what that's saying, okay? My mouth, by then, like cardboard, seemed to slip straight through my head. Uh, I, I don't, I don't want to go into what I think that is. But I will say 
that I want to skip to the next song where I think there's a reference to walking on water. I want to talk about ELO, can't get it out of my head, okay? And uh, something about the ocean's daughter last night on the water. I saw the ocean's daughter uh, walking, uh, walking on a wave, chicane, something like that, and uh, staring as she called my name. Okay, so I think in there is also an allusion, or they're alluding to Jesus walking on water there. And the third song that I want to talk about, and this is more intuitive than the others. The others have more like um, kind of a logical progression of how you can get to that conclusion. This is a more intuitive. The others were more deductive. This is more intuitive. This song is Smoke on the Water, Deep Purple. Right. Uh, I think that when when uh, you're talking about smoke on the water, fire in the sky, on an intuitive level, to me, that's a reference to Jesus. So those are the three songs I wanted to touch on. Uh, referencing walking on the water, I believe, in a, in possibly. And uh, thanks for watching. Talk about rock.com is a website you can go to if you want to see more of my videos and uh, that's all for today thank you so much